Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini for mid-month of 2020, mid-month of November 2020. I am calling these my mid-month minis, so if you like them, let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep doing them. And they're going to be short and sweet, which is how I am anyway, but they are going to give you a quick heads up as to what's going on for the rest of the month for you. Um, and any messages that Spirit wants you to hear. All right, uh, we're going to put that there. All right, I also have um, five spots left in my From Pain to Power mentorship. So if you're interested, these do sell out quick. Um, you can stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll tell you more about the details, okay? All right, so what we have going on, and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure you subscribe to get, and the little bell notification to get notified about new videos I have coming out every single week. We've got the Hermit card for the rest of the month here of November. Um, internal strength is what I'm getting. This is about you going within. This is about mastering your emotions, mastering your energy. Being very clear and quiet is what I'm getting here with this Hermit card. It is really about not taking on any outside influences and really being clear with what you think um, is the overall energy here for the rest of November for you. We've got the Six of Wands. So this is, ooh, look at this. We've got 666. Six, six. So that's so funny that this happened that way. So 666. Six, six. So look up that angel number. It is not the devil. So I know that that is a superstition out there. It is not the devil. I can't tell you what it is actually, but I really think it's a good one. So look up that angel number 666. Six, six. But the Six of Wands here, is about rising above. This is about you really rising above um, other people, but like being recognized, but recognizing yourself is what I'm seeing. But I'm also getting, and remember these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I'm also getting that the divine is starting to recognize you. And it's starting to, if you've been manifesting, it's really starting to understand what you want in your life and what you're trying to create in your reality. Now, we've got the Six of Swords here with the Seven of Swords. Um, and for some reason, I put it on the bottom, which I haven't done in any other readings. But this is about, you know, letting go of something that doesn't feel good to you. Uh, this is really, you know, a shicey card, a little bit of shadiness here. But definitely, you know, it might not, it, it doesn't feel good anymore. And it's about letting go of it. And knowing when to let go is also what they're saying. And the reason you need to let go of it, I mean, this is such beautiful energy and you can see that this darkness is in between all this light here, okay? And this is why the Hermit card is so important for the rest of the month is because without taking that time out for you, without being able to get your thoughts together, without doing that, you know, you might hold on to something that isn't great for you. And it's time to let go of what no longer feels good for you. And when you do that, it's like you start to become who you are. And this is going back to what they're telling me about, like, the universe is recognizing you now and what you want. And they're asking me, like, they're saying to me to ask you, like, do you know what you want? Because the universe is getting very clear on your thoughts. And if your thoughts are going to be stuck here, the universe is going to know that, okay, we want more of this darkness. But that's not true for you. You want the light. And this is what this is about. It's about walking your own path, about doing your own thing, and about feeling the way that you want to feel um, un, uninfluenced by other people's opinions or behaviors, okay? And you've got the nine of wands too. And like, look at how freaking powerful she is. She's sitting there. She's got a lion. She's got her, um, her wand, which is on fire. Like, she is ready to defend herself, but she doesn't really need to defend herself because people look at her and know that she is someone that you don't want to mess with because she's strong. And I think I said that in the very beginning, like inner strength. So you are stronger than you know, and you're rising above. You're being the bigger person. You're being the better person, and you're letting go of something that is not serving you anymore here. And in doing that, you're able to really understand yourself better. You're really able to do what you want to do. And with the nine of wands here, like it really empowers you. So I absolutely love that. Let's see what chakra card. What chakra do we need to work on for the rest of November for the sign of Gemini, please? 
recovery. Recovery. So again, whatever you're walking away from there might take, it might take a blow. You might take a blow, right? You may, you, it might knock you down a little bit, but you are recovering from it and you're going to recover from it in a way that is so empowering that you're not even going to recognize the person that you were before whatever this blow was for you. All right. So realize that this is the third eye chakra. So this is about connection, you know, um, to your higher self and really realizing your power within and that there's this whole energy above you that um, supports you and guides you and know that it is um, you're able to connect to it at any time. So take the time for the rest of the month, go into the hermit mode, recover from whatever this blow was for you and really step into your power because that's what this is about. All right. So I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video. If it does, let me know what you think about the mid-month minis. I'm <laughs> starting to really get that, that right with the mid-month minis. It's like a little tongue twister. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this and if you want me to continue doing them. Also, um, if you are interested in learning more about my From Pain to Power mentorship, this is an eight-week deep intensive healing program that I bring women through um, that want to heal after toxic relationships. And we really dive deep into the childhood about um, identifying limiting beliefs that were created back there, but then also identifying where your energy is stuck, which is usually where it's holding you back in life. Um, this is why you act the way you do. Your emotions keep coming up. These are the triggers. You get triggered and the emotion comes up and you start crying. If you're crying a lot, like this program would be great for you. Um, we really, you know, transform the limiting beliefs, release the energy of the past. We build your confidence. We set boundaries and we really take your power back in your life. So this makes complete sense here. Um, if you're interested in learning if it's a good fit for you, all you got to do is check the description box below or in the comments and you'll find a little questionnaire to see if it's a good fit for you. All right, but stay strong here because there's, you're so empowered. Like it is so, such um, intense, strong energy. So just know that that is inside of you. Go into the hermit mode to find it again. Don't let them knock you down, right? You knock down, you get back up and it's time for you to get back up at least by the end of the month and recover. All right, much love to all of you. I'm sending you much love and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.